Hi everyone, Bridget Air here with All About the Grace. Digital trolls. How do you deal with digital trolls? Let's talk about that. Bridget Ayer with All About the Grace. What is a digital troll? Those of you who are on digital platforms or on social media or actually admin a group um, on social media know what a digital troll is. But for those who don't know what a digital troll is, I will define it. A digital troll is someone who continually complains, they criticize, they're negative, uh, whatever the group is that you're in, they have a tendency to tear down, they're constantly dissenting with everything that you say. And really, I kind of define a digital troll as someone who intentionally gets on a group that they don't support and they're really there to uh, wreak havoc on the group, say negative things, and sometimes, you know, really bad things they say um, use bad language or whatever so that's pretty much what a troll is and there's varying degrees of a troll so how do you deal with that well I have a couple uh, suggestions on how to deal with digital trolls I admin several groups um, and I've admin groups for clients and I've admin groups for organizations uh, for ministries, um, I admin several of my own uh, groups, and I'm just going to use uh, Facebook as an example. First of all, if you uh, have a, a platform, if you're using Facebook, and you either have a Facebook group or a Facebook page, so not your personal page, but a group page, a group that's for an organization or a business page, okay? They're, and they are different. You can set them up differently. When you set up one of these, either a page, a Facebook page, or a Facebook group, you can set it up in such a way that you establish rules or guidelines. And really, that is what you wanna do if you're a organization or a church or a ministry you want to have rules or guidelines for being a part of that group. When you're a business, obviously you're trying to get a lot of people to like that page, but still you want to have guidelines. And in those guidelines, I've also seen and set up questions, you know, here's the purpose of the group, will you abide by these rules, you know, to be charitable, to be positive, to uh, um, I, those are the two 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 uh, rules that I can think of. But you definitely want to set guidelines and rules. And right there, you're going to ward off a lot of people that are just going there to specifically um, cause problems. So. People have to answer questions. You can set it up where they have to answer questions. Will they abide by these rules? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, no, whatever. And then based on how they answer the questions, you can either admit them to the group or you cannot admit them to the group. So that's a one way to keep trolls out from them from even getting into a group uh, if it's a closed group. On um, Another thing you can do is, well, if somebody violates those, let's say, let's say they lie and they get in the group anyway, they're a troll, um, and then they start breaking all the rules, you can just kick them out. You can just remove their name from the platform. So that's another way you can deal with them. Again, you have to gauge, is this person just having an off day? It's okay to disagree, but um, so I wouldn't remove those people, but people that are constantly, there's somebody, um, there's someone that comes to mind every single time that 
this organization posts, every single post, they put like a frowny face on it. Or they say something bad. Okay, I mean every single post. That kind of person, you definitely that that person's definitely a troll, so you wanna remove them from the page. But then if it's just someone that's just having an off day or they disagree, you know, if this is not a constant pattern, then I wouldn't say that they're a troll and you know go ahead and leave them in there. Another way you can deal with a troll, trolls are usually just wanting to get attention. So another way you can deal with a troll is you can just ignore them. Let them say what they want to say, but just everyone just everyone in the group just ignores them. And then another way, you, another another way you can deal with them is you can confront them and say, "Look, this group or this page is for X purpose. Um, you know, here to talk about the Catholic faith, or we're here to talk about um, saints, or we're here to talk about this particular youth ministry." And you're not talking about that. In fact, you're talking about, you know, you're not contributing to this group. In fact, you're being, um, I don't know, hostile to the group. And then you can call them out, confront them and call them out, and then um, see how that works. Sometimes you call somebody out and they'll just leave. They'll just leave the group or they won't post anymore. I've seen that happen a lot. Um, and then, uh, and then other times they, the person that's the troll might get more hostile and say more bad things and then you go to the admin and, and remove them. So, and then, or, or there's also the blocking option too. So these are just some ways to, um, deal with trolls. Almost every single group, and I belong to probably over a hundred, um, a hundred groups just on Facebook. I see this all the time. Everybody's dealing with it. Depending on the type of group that you're in, let's say you're in a whatever group that you're in, let's say you're in a pro-environmental group, you're going to have people that are against that, joining the group and saying stuff. Whatever the topic is, it's always going to draw people that are opposite of that and that want to cause problems. So. A lot of these forums, they're open forums, and um, you're going to get trolls. But again, if out the gate you can, when you set up your group or your page, if you can have questions or specific guidelines that you want people to adhere to that are a part of this, then it's a lot easier, I think, to remove people, warn them, say, hey, you're not, you're not following these guidelines. If you do that again, we're going to remove you. Um, so that's just uh, a couple tips. I hope that's helpful. I know that this is a problem that I uh, get this question a lot when I'm doing consulting and I see it a lot just in practice. So uh, I know what it's like to, to have to deal with this. So um, I hope that's helpful. Please uh, like and comment um, and subscribe if you haven't. It really helps me out a lot. Um, I do try to push these videos out on all of my platforms, but sometimes I forget. So if you want to get the um, videos when they're immediately uploaded, the best way to do that is to click subscribe. And then also after you click subscribe, uh, click the little bell because then you'll get a notification when I upload. So thanks so much. Um, God bless. See you next time. Bye.